something really important right here. There's something about Dan's re uh, resurrection that they can't afford to overlook. The Black Knight. What? When the Liberation Army fought at the capital, he was there. He sided with the silver-haired maiden. The Black Knight, the man who killed my father. But I defeated him three years ago. I'm sure of it. At the very least, he couldn't have escaped when Nato's castle came crashing down on him. The day after you fought, Bass, Jen ordered some men to search the remains of Nato's castle. There was no trace of the Black Knight. No armor, no sword, no corpse. If the Black Knight was seen in Dayan was indeed the same Black Knight, he might prove to be a threat to Kramia. If he's alive, there's no doubt I will see him again. This is very important information for me. So Ike knows that the Black Knight is... Or at least a version of the Black Knight must be alive. And that Finn's part two. I mean, ends part two. A great war begins. What that threatens to tear the land asunder. A hero sides with the Lagoons and justice. The Maiden of Dawn fights for the Bjork and Dayan. Their armies will collide while the flames of the Medallion burn brighter. Part three, intersecting. So yes, we have part three, intersecting vows. Unfortunately, you guys will have to see that next time after Mario Party and Soul Calibur because hopefully I will get recorded uh, this week end, this week end. And so this should all be up by at least Friday. So I will see you guys in either Mario Party or Soul Calibur or if you're going to join us for part three, uh, it will be sometime next week, around Tuesday, maybe. So, I will see you guys then. Later.